Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so let's take a look at this practice sheet. If you haven't done this yet, please pause the video and go and give it a shot. And let's see what we've got going on. So, 5 to the 9 to the 6. So, this is going to be a matter of doing it in the order that you want to do it for the, all of these and what have you. But I know that this means 5 to the 9 times 5 to the 9 so that there are 6 of them. So I'm not a big component of memorizing a rule. That's what I know that means. So that means it's going to be 5 to the 9 times 6. There's going to be 6 groups of 9 here. So it's 5 to the 54. That should be the answer there. And I certainly wouldn't use my calculator to change that. I'd leave it like that. Let's see how they said to leave our answers. They said simplify each of the following using the exponent laws. That is simplified compared to that. That's how you'd leave that. Okay, the next one. 4 to the 3 to the 4 to the 2. Well, I'm going to go slow. I know that 4 to the 3 to the 4 means 4 to the 12. And then I'm going to 4 to the 12 to the 2 means 4 to the 24. And that would be my answer for that one. This one. I would do what's inside the brackets first and keep the numbers small. So I've actually got a to the 10 over a to the 3 all to the 8. So I look at that and I'm going to play Fruit Ninja. That's going to be 8 of the 7. Still to the 8. So now that's going to be 7 times 8. And I don't know my times tables. 56. 8 of the 56. And that would be your final answer. Yep. Yeah. That'd be fine. Make sure you get it right all the time. So that might be a two mark question. And if the answer's wrong, you lose two. So this one. So this might be a contender for um, doing it in your head if you want to. So it's 8 to the 7 times 2, so it's 8 to the 14 times 8 to the 3rd to the 3, so that's going to be A to the 17. But as I said, make sure that you've shown me enough that if you do make a mistake, I can give you some part marks. We need our masks on in the back. Thank you. Okay, so the next one. This is going to be 3 to the 16 divided by 3 to the 5. And I'm going to come up with 3 to the 11 as my answer. The next one, Zs. So I got Z to the 12 times Z to the 16. So did you see how I did that? I did this one, and then I did that one, and now I'll put them together. But it's a different rule for putting them together, right? It's going to be addition this time. So now it's Z to the 28. Z28, isn't that a car by Datsun? No? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. We got x or 10 to the 6 times 10 to the 9. So that's 10 to the 15 on the inside. And then the power to the power is going to be 10 to the 75. Next, you got this one. Now, my hint to you is to try to do this. Um, work out the top first in a simplified form. Work out the bottom into a simplified form. And then do the division. So the top is going to be x to the 7 all to the 6. The bottom is going to be x to the 5 all to the 2. Now x to the 7 and x to the 5 aren't the same base, so I'm going to do some more work on the top. And I'm going to get x to the 35, 42. And x to the 10. Now you get to play Fruit Ninja. Where are there more x's on the top? How many more? There are 32 more x's on the top. Now, just to bring you in on something that we're going to start talking about later, I say there's 32 on the top. Someone might say to me, hey, there's no top or bottom anymore. Well, yeah, there is. It's over top of 1. So the bottom is 1 in this case, okay? So there's still a top, there's still a bottom. It's just, it's 1, so we're just going to leave it as x to the 32. So moving over to the next one. So I've got x to the 6 to the 4 divided by 6 to the 8 to the 2 all to the 10. Oh my goodness. Well, that's going to be R. Did I say X? Oh, well, there are R's. Um, 1224 divided by R to the 16, all to the 10. So I'm slowing it down and doing it in steps. So that's going to be R to the 24 over R to the 16 to the 10. Now, where are there more R's? There's more R's on the top. How many more? Eight of them. So it's actually r to the 8 over 1, but nobody really cares about the 1, right? 
because when the 10 comes in, it's going to go to the top and the bottom, but 10 to the 1 is still just 1. It doesn't change anything. So I might as well just think about this like this, which is simply going to be r to the 80. And that's your final answer. Okay, you can pause this video, and we'll be back in a moment.